Hey guys, today we're talking about what you need to know before coming into Abia State University. Pros, we have the con, the real gist. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Sylvia and welcome back to Sylvia Circle. Today I have my madam at the top. Oh God, put up, put up, put up. <laughs> the main person that is running this YouTube thing in Absu. Hi, love. Introduce Hi, yourself my now. My name is Precious. Mm -hmm. Oji Precious. Mm -hmm. And I am on Silver Circle. Yeah. So please don't forget to subscribe, mm -hmm. hit the notification bell, mm -hmm. and watch my early video as well. Yeah, today we're talking about what you need to know before coming into Abia State University. We have the pros, we have the cons, we're going to give you guys the real gist. It's not <laughs> first hand experience. First hand experience. I am in final year optometry. You are in where? Exactly. So we're going to give you guys the real experience. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that you need to know about Abia State University is located in Abia State, Utru and it has varieties of different courses, you know, ranging from art, science and to an extent they are really good at what they do. Yeah, especially de depending on the departments. If yeah, your department like apps in general, like they put more attention to their science students than their art students. Yeah. Man art students, that's like the course I'm offering is more on that science and all. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they don't really give us a lot of attention when it comes to like what we need, like our blog and things like yeah. that. This I feel like they only put a lot of attention to their science students do you get yeah. OPT they have a new block now. We've been asking for a new block for forever. Our classes are so small, so packed and everything. So I feel like a con is the fact that they are always like you know putting more attention into their science students. Like it's more of a um favorite child kind of thing. So yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah. She has said it all. And um, one thing that you should be sure about uh, is the condition of the department Before in the school. In any Nigerian university on normal, the the way they are studying English in a particular university yeah. will not be the way they are studying English in another university. Yeah. So it's like it will vary. So just check the condition before you enter. Remember, before I entered optometry, I was had to check like the best school to study optometry okay. in Nigeria. So Absu was like is it first or second. So that's why. You understand? So always Personally, check that. I never considered checking any of that when I was going to school. I never actually if I did. <laughs> the next point we'll be talking about is chances of admission. Okay. Yeah. So as long as you are an Abia State indigene, you can like get admission easier. Um, we're not saying you cannot get admission if you're not from Abia State yeah. University. It's just that the chances for an indigene is higher, higher than somebody that is not from this place at all. And then there are certain times that you get like certain opportunities that like if you're a, if you're an indigene, like there's certain time that the governor yeah scholarship like, stuff and uh, cut of fees and stuff fees and everything like that so for Abia. So you benefit a lot if you school in a university that is where you're from. So yeah, if you're an indigenous, that's like a plus up for you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There, there are other tribes here. You see, um, there are Yoruba there people are here. They are quite bomb, quite bomb, and yeah, there are a lot here. But it's just that if they should be like an Abia state, Imo state, mm, yeah. it's an Abia state, they're like fifty. Imo is not like let's say thirty percent. Mm. The other state not carry ten, ten, ten. And in general, it just increases your chances of admission. Like if you're trying to like get into school and stuff like that, by the time they consider, they would rather consider you. Yes, an Abia State. Than consider it's a state you university, so it's just logical. Yeah, yeah. the state university, so we can yes. talk about the condition of living. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll talk about both the pros and the cons. Precious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I feel like the number one thing you should know is the fact that. Abia State University hostels, tell anybody I said it, and nothing to write home about. I don't know. It just keeps getting worse. I stayed in the hostel um, half of my 100 level. Quarter actually, because I could not survive. I was you telling quarter. Mom, I stayed two years. Oh my 
but I could not. I told my mom, mom, see, 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 see. she was like, ah, as it got to night, I was like, exactly. Everything about it, the pairing, this, that, the noise, insecurity level, and all of that. I feel like their hostels are something that they really, really need to work on. But then, the advantages of living in the hostel and everything, but I feel like the hostels are nothing to write home about. If you're looking for like some specific kind of like comfort or something like that, it might not really be the best thing for you to do to live in the school hostel. So let me just say some things about the pros. Okay. So if there is a pro. <laughs> Okay, so there's one thing I'm going to say. Um, it will be like the networking. Yeah. yeah, you get to meet different people yeah. from different departments. They have different views. They have yeah. different. That know somebody. That know somebody. That know somebody. Yeah. I stayed in hostel for two years, and the people that I still communicate with are people, you met there. Are people that I met through someone from the hostel. Like do you understand? There's a connection that is always there. All my friends now are people that I met in the hostel yeah. yeah and then they'll introduce you to more friends yeah, that you yeah, meet and the people that you later get to know the important people that you yeah. later get to know uh, your children yeah but if you uh, you, you come in your hundred level and then you just go to yourself and then you go to the lodge yeah. it may give you unless maybe you're not familiar with the people in class yeah. but then you see you notice those kind of people they are always reserved they're always on their own yeah, yeah they, they don't socialize as much and then they are they are exposed to you know this lodge self lodge yeah. life self you it's go day yes, yeah you go day so like when you want to keep that we like call it purity <laughs> good girl lifestyle good girl lifestyle for a while I would say stay in hostel for just your hundred level so at least maybe you socialize and connect with people then endure whatever you have to endure in the hostel then come out come out personally for me I found the hostel like very overwhelming. Because, like, the way I grew up, like, we're not so many. Mm. Everybody in my house are just five. Nobody is inside anybody's space or anything like that. And personally, I like to stay alone. I don't know if that's because, like, my siblings are boys, and most of the time, I just can't relate to what they are doing. Mm. And I'm very much older than them. I'm talking 80, they're talking two years, and stuff like that. So, like, do you get so coming to the hostel and you just you take, ah, a step, boom, you take a step everybody is in your business i could not do it the one time that i got so pissed i made my bed my bed i put my net and so somebody city <laughs> to open it and, I love it. <laughs> and you know she didn't stop there she tucked it in and she was inside it's like but she i was not around what are you cooking i just call it and why are you cooking? No, everybody is <laughs> just in your space. You cook Everyone is in your business. Like Everyone is, every single person is in your business. I just could know. So cook just know that I mean. and know what to do, whether you like that or you don't. If, if you're a kind of person that you guys are plenty and I mean, you actually like it, it's like a big, very big family, something like that. But for me, I could not cope. And that was why I actually like left like really, really early. So if you can, it's okay for you to stay in the school. I'm not saying it's bad. It's actually like it has many advantages. You're inside the school already. You can easily go to anywhere you want to go to. And yeah. Like that, so. Okay. Okay, guys. And then for the last point, we are going to talk about the fees mm. and the payments in Abia State University. Now, this is a state university, so basically, their payments um, is more expensive than a public university but cheaper than a private, private university student. so it's like the middle mm -hmm. you understand the private is like the highest the state is in the middle then the public is like the lowest mm -hmm. so yeah they are as long as you are from a middle class family but i don't know how to put it though but like i just feel like it's affordable our school fees is actually it's affordable. 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 It's affordable but then like some point like recently they've started doing their um you must be before a certain time or else you attract fines stuff like that so that's something to also put into consideration you being you able to provide your school fees yeah, before time because they will be pressure they will be pressure on you to pay your fees and all of that but in general our school fees is i think it's affordable if you calculate it per semester and everything it's actually very much Affordable. And one thing you need to know that it's not just school fees you are paying. The other bills and the other stuffs around. I feel like the school fees is the least of things that you have to worry. So just so. trust me that if you go out with money, you're not coming back. And you always have to be with money. Everything is about money. money. Like 
everything. They just pay for this, pay for this, this departmental, after faculty. After your fees, it doesn't just end there. There are so many other things that you have to pay for as well. But then I feel like maybe this is just a general thing. In general, investors maybe take it's money it. from you and stuff like that. But then, because I'm here, I feel like it's worse here. So just be ready for the payment just be ready don't yeah. don't come and be like okay i checked i googled my school mm, fees and this is this amount so it's this range my dear their range times it by two <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you picked one or two advice that we gave you guys um, make sure to like comment subscribe this is precious head over to our channel we just finished doing a video our own is like <laughs> ah we're giving bus bulls. you guys our video was something and please, else we are not discouraging you not to come to apps we are here already and everything it's yeah. manageable it's nothing is impossible it's good we are going to go with the degree and, and we're going to like that. and the, the school is nice the school everything. is nice the the nature the nature yeah yeah the it. nature the good, yeah. but like there are a lot of good views here in school the mountain yeah. views and all those stuff they are very nice the, is, is a is a place that like there's enough space mm -hmm. you can actually go and come climbing yes and, and chill things. it's not like in a town it's not like yeah, in a crowded in a town. yes this like it's, in, it's an isolated area the only reason why this place is like there are a lot of people is just because of the school if you look at it normally this is like a village Uturu or something like that yeah so the environment is quite serene when you're in school and stuff like that so yeah that's yeah. basically thank you so much for watching i hope you come to have your invest <laughs> bye <laughs> <laughs> Run me down, Demma, run me down Count me out, Demma, count me out